Good morning, everyone. I have my little Zen here today, and I'm going to change him. Haven't done a video with him in a little while, so I figured I would change him this morning. I was going to do t shirt and diaper Tuesday, but then I changed my mind. Um, it's not that cold in here. But it's kind of rainy, so I decided to just put him in a sleeper. As I said, I'm into sleepers again. Um, I guess because of the weather has changed to cooler fall weather. So, I had ordered a few things last week, and I just got them, I think Friday or Saturday. So, I wanted to try it on him. And I'll show you in just a second. I actually had ordered this sleeper for my little Sawyer. But then when I got it, it looks humongous. It's this sleeper. It's blue and gray. This is like a velour material with this cute little teddy bear on it. And it says, my sweet, cuddly, cute teddy bear. And then it has these cute little teddy bear feet. The feet are like really wide, like the um like the teddy bear's feet is, and they're blue, like his feet. So when I looked at it, it looks kind of big, and the sleeves are trimmed in blue. So I'm thinking Zen probably could fit it better than Sawyer, because Zen is a little bit bigger than Sawyer, and this is by Just Too Cute. Um, designed in England and as I said I really do like their clothes um, from the UK and soon as I saw this sleeper it just kind of caught my eye I had to have it and I love gray as I've said also so that sleeper was like I had to get it <laughs> And that one, I ordered it from a seller on eBay that's here in the United States. But she gets clothes um, from the UK to sell. So even though it's from the UK, I got it at a, you know, a more reasonable price than the other item I ordered. Because this one, I didn't have that high shipping cost because the seller is in the U.S. So I guess, I don't know how she does it. She probably orders a lot of things. So for her, the shipping from the UK isn't that expensive. Because she didn't charge anything extra. The, I, the sleeper was pretty reasonable. And I only paid $3 for shipping. So I couldn't pass it up. So let's see if this little guy can fit it. And I'm not going to change his diaper because I already changed him. The feet fit. They look so big, the little feet, but they actually fit his foot. And this is like the perfect weather to me for sleepers for the babies. So, I figured I'd put him in this instead of a t-shirt. Because then I have to change him again if it gets cool. Like at night it gets even cooler. And then he would only have on a t-shirt and a diaper. So I figured. And you know I took out hand mitts for these little fingers of his to get in this sleeve. And I didn't put them on him. Because he has these long fingers that bend so easily when you're putting long sleeves on him. But I got it without pulling on his fingers. Yeah, this is the perfect fit for him. And this is a newborn size sleeper. And usually for Zen, I get zero to three months. Or three months. Or three to six months. But I knew this looked pretty big. And it fits him perfectly. So it would have been too big for little Soya. It would have been hanging off of him because he's a little smaller than Zen.
and then I had ordered a few items from, from this particular seller. So then she discounted and combined it, all of my shipping. So I got my stuff at a pretty nice price from her for everything I ordered. I didn't pay much shipping at all. She was very reasonable. And I can't think of her name right now. I've ordered from her before on eBay. She has a lot of baby clothes. And she sells brand new baby clothes. Oh, how cute he looks. See, I had his little gray hand mix out, but I forgot to put them on. <laughs> I forgot. I'm going to just um, brush his hair a little bit. Just a little bit. Spray the toothbrush. So, guys, um, as I said, for those who watch my videos regular, I have been going through some tough times in the past week in my personal life, and I wasn't really ready to talk about it last week. Um, I did put it up on my Facebook for those who are friends with me on Facebook. But I wasn't actually ready to talk about anything um, on my YouTube. I guess I just wasn't ready to talk about it. I'm still not really ready. I'm kind of in shock still. Um, but I decided today, so you guys would know that's been watching my channel for a while, what I was referring to that I was going through. Um, before I say, let me give him this pacifier. Um, I just wanted to just let you know, and he is losing, and I wanted to ask for prayers for me and my family, my children, um, because I lost my husband last Sunday before thanksgiving um november 20th last week it was sudden it was shocking um he wasn't really sick so that made it more shocking um and he was not here he is in jamaica so he was not even here which made it more painful um because i wasn't with him but he passed away last sunday so that's what I've been going through um, this past week. It's a little over a week now. But I'm just asking for your prayers for me and my, my children. We have three young children together. As I said, my son is 11. He'll be 12 next month. Well, January. And my daughters are 10 and 8 years old. So they are very broken hearted and sad. So we just been trying to get through it, trying to get through Thanksgiving last week. It was tough, but we we still tried to eat a little and just try to get through the week. Um, we just basically have been just remembering, trying to remember the good times with their daddy. Um, that's how I've been trying to get them through it, just telling them to remember how much he loved them and all of the fun we had and the good times together. Try to focus on that, the memories, when you feel sad. So basically, that's what I've been going through. So I just wanted to share that with you guys so you would know what I was talking about for those who didn't know. Some know, knew already because, like I said, I had put it on my Facebook. So some people that follow me on Facebook, they already knew what I was referring to. And then also, I lost my youngest brother last night. So that's now, you know, another sorrowful, sad situation um, in my family. And he was only 36 years old, but he had diabetes. He was sick, very sick. Um, but even when, it's like when with death, it comes sudden in some cases and shocking and then even if you know the person is sick like my brother was sick for a long time 
it still you can't really brace or prepare yourself when you lose somebody. So even if you know about it, you still take it hard. It's still hard and difficult and painful. But anyway, I'm just asking for you guys' prayers for me and my children and the rest of my family at this time. So anyway, that is my video. And I didn't want to make my video sad. That's also why I didn't talk about it in my other videos. I didn't want to make them sad. But I just ask for your prayers at this time. Um, so anyway, that's my little Zen and his little teddy bear, um, sleeper. And also my babies, my silicone babies, reborn babies, my children, that's what's helping me get through this time. Um, while my children are at school, I'm cuddling my babies <laughs> and they do help when you're going through depression, sadness, anxiety, you know, these babies do help just to hold on to them and have something to cuddle. So that's also why I've still been doing my videos and changing my babies, trying to give myself something to do. Um, because if I sit still, I think I'll just lose my mind right now. So I've just been like keeping, trying to keep busy, trying to keep doing what I normally do, my normal routines, um, trying to still do my videos, you know, change my babies. Those things help me to kind of cope, I guess at this time because if not i probably would just sit still and lose my mind but anyway so thanks for watching and we'll see you soon in the next video have a good day